Keywords Everywhere launched SEO reports that will analyze the search results page with the help of AI to provide you with useful data that you can use for your SEO analysis and projects. So let me show them to you right now. So we launched SEO reports that are available in this widget in the search results page. Now these reports are from a combination of Keywords Everywhere data, the data pulled from this search results page, and AI to create these reports. And you can run reports on any of these AI models. Now let me show you the first one, Get User Search Intent. Now before you write any piece of content, it is recommended that you analyze the top ranking pages to get an understanding of the search intent. Now you can do that manually or run this report. So let's do that right now. So Keywords Everywhere provided search results data to ChatGPT with a custom prompt to generate this user intent analysis SEO report. So with the help of AI, you can instantly get the user intent of the top ranking pages without you having to open each page up by yourself and manually analyzing the content, just use AI. This right column here shows you the individual pages that correspond to this row, this search intent, and the numbers are where they rank, and then you can click on any of these to open up the pages themselves. So for these three pages, the search intent category is informational, and the actual intent of those searchers is that they want to learn about bone broth health benefits and how to make it. And for these four pages, the search intent category is commercial, and they're looking to find brands and purchase bone broth products. And then this sixth ranking page is informational, and they want to learn how bone broth can benefit dogs and how to use it for them. So when you are planning out your content, it needs to target one of the above user intents. It then provides you with keywords for your article to satisfy the user intents. So for this first row here, ChatGPT provided us with this list of keywords that we should be mentioning in our article to satisfy this informational search intent of people who want to learn about bone broth health benefits and how to make it. So after you understand the search intent of your target keyword, you might be asking what type of content you should be creating. So to get that answer, we're going to run the Analyze Content Type SEO report. Okay, now this report gives you an idea of what type of content to create if you want to rank for this bone broth keyword. It looks like there are a total of three different content types that are ranking on this page, and these are the corresponding ranking pages. So we have a couple of pages that are how-to guides. We have five ranking pages that are product pages. And then we have one step-by-step -step tutorial. So this gives you a better idea of what type of content to create. So looking at this SEO report shows that you probably need to create a product page if you want to rank for the bone broth keyword. Next is the cluster all keywords report. So sometimes we might get confused as to which keyword or list of keywords to target on a page when analyzing these widgets on the right hand side. So this next SEO report is great because it shows you which keywords should be grouped together on a page. Now I recommend enabling the search volume on these widgets before running the report so you will have access to accurate search volumes in the SEO report. So let's use ChatGPT. Okay, so this is our cluster all keywords report. So it combined all of these keywords in these widgets and put them in all these specific groups. So we have a list of keyword clusters here in each table. Now, all of these keywords have the same meaning and intent, which is ideal for targeting on a single web page. So we have our bone broth keyword cluster. We also have a recommended URL slug, and these are all the keywords in the bone broth 
keyword cluster that we should be targeting on a page. And we also have another keyword cluster group regarding bone broth benefits with the recommended URL slug and the list of keywords here, including the search volume. Now, again, I do recommend enabling the search volume in your Keywords Everywhere browser add-on to get the actual search volume for each one of these keywords inside this table as well. This is one of my favorite reports because say, for example, if you want to build content to become an authority for your keyword, you can essentially look at this SEO report and build pages for each one of these groups and target all of these keyword clusters in each of those pages. So this approach is faster than manually analyzing the keywords in these widgets on the right hand side. The next report is the analyze titles for SERP report. So we can have AI analyze the titles of all of these top ranking pages. Okay, so ChatGPT found common elements across all the titles on this page. So you have a general theme of what they are. Okay, so it looks like the keyword bone broth is prominently featured and all the titles include the keyword bone broth, which is really good to know. Another common element is that there is a focus on the benefits and how to. Some titles mention a product or a brand promotion. Some have an organic nutrient rich emphasis and also a variety in preparation or types. And the AI provided us with a new optimized title that incorporates the common elements across the top ranking pages. So this is a title that you can use for your page that targets bone broth. Now you might be asking yourself, aside from keywords and content, what else do I need to have in order to rank for this bone broth keyword? So that's where the check rankability for SERP comes in. Let's run this report. So this report looks at the backlink metrics of these top ranking pages and also the SEO difficulty widget right here to provide you with some suggestions on what you need to have in order to rank as well. So here we have the SEO difficulty metrics, which is conveniently pulled from this widget right here. And it provides you with this list of recommendations in order for you to have a chance to rank. So let's take a look at the SEO difficulty analysis. So it says both on-page and off-page difficulty are high. We should focus on creating better content and a robust link building campaign. So we need good content and good backlinks. We have a suggested page title right here, including a suggested page description with the recommended URL slug and a minimum domain authority we would need in order to rank and minimum referring domains and minimum referring total backlinks. So this report gives you some good information from a backlink perspective on what your page, your site needs in order to rank for this bone broth keyword. The last report is the suggest anchor text report. Now this report helps with internal linking by suggesting the best anchor texts for the links to your important pages. So the AI suggests all of these anchor texts that is recommended from internal links and could also use these anchor texts for external backlinks as well. There's even an explanation for each one. So for the bone broth benefits anchor text, this one targets users searching for the health benefits of bone broth and then how to make bone broth appeals to users looking for recipes for preparation methods and so on and so forth for the rest of the anchor texts. Okay, so those are all the SEO reports I wanted to show you today. If you want to learn more, we created a helpful article for you to take a look at, and this link is down below. So feel free to check that out. And thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button for us, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.